Hello my fellow neglectful no not November non-participants, looking back at your past which individual provided you the greatest amount of help as you stumbled through the process of life. Whether it be your father teaching you the unfathomable difference between the innocence of childhood and the cruelty of adulthood, or maybe a teacher hinting at the discovery of your self-identity and truest passion. Everybody has at least one memorable moment in which their life changed from a downward spiral to an upward trend of satisfying projections. Well, except if you're subscribed to Amart, since that automatically puts you in the backseat of a speeding car uncontrollable due to the accelerator being hot glued to the ground, equating to life being meaningless. In that case, I'd have to assume that the most help you've gotten in your 9-11 joke of a livelihood is LIFE HACKS! Remember that time when you used an iron to heat up your hot pocket? Remember that time when you borrowed your mom's credit card to pick your guitar? Remember that time when around 3am you found out the best way to shut up your crippled toddler was to give a shake and baby syndrome? Oh, those are your helpful guys. Well, this video is going to be a pretty relatable topic because today we're gonna watch some good old five minute crafts. Five minute crafts, if you haven't heard of them, is a T-series sub-growth reincarnation that tackles the profitable market of life hack videos. And they have amassed a pretty decent following of over 41 million since the crack dawn of 2017. Can you stick through your thick skull, the unrealistic certainty that this channel has just as many subs as Justin frickin' Bieber in just over two years? Anyways, today I thought it would be a pretty terrible idea to just watch some five minute crafts videos even though the videos have a... Uh, well over five minutes in watch time. I'm gonna be epileptic by the time I'm done with these, am I? Before I get into this, I want to address the absolute monstrosity that is these video titles. 40 surprisingly cute do-it-yourself decor ideas. 15 weird beauty hacks work magic. 33 life hacks for women that are actually brilliant. 25 egg hacks that will make your life a whole lot easier. 42 holy grail hacks that will save you a fortune. 40 hacks for any occasion. Haha, <laughs> do you want to know the definition of insanity? Anyways, let's start off with 28 crazy genius hacks for your house because if I'm gonna intentionally lose brain cells I'm gonna have to start off with a bang I mean look at that look at that horrifying image before you fall down the stairs and break your neck from the consumption of electro force gum really jam into this background music it's flipping lit fam I'm sorry, but what the hell is that overselling? Jeez. That's like me repeatedly slapping myself in the face just because there's a fly nearby. I hate to bother you by asking this question in these terrifying weather conditions, but why don't you just use the van in the first place? This better not be what I'm thinking. Holy crap, it's over everybody. There is no further discussion needed. If you are in need of straighten out your comforter or blanket or whatever you call it in order to make your bed, all you gotta do is hot glue the edges to binder clips and hang it on your doorway. Works every time, no penalty or repercussions. Cause clearly us humans suffer every day from making our own freaking bed. Oh my gosh. Hey, you, you better watch what you're doing. If your brother finds out you've severed his shirt, he's gonna punch you in the face. Probably saw off one of your limbs as well. Live Cannibalism. What a devastating concert name. And what's the name of the band? Cannibal Corpse. I mean, how self-loathing could you possibly get? So, after watching that video, I took it upon myself to search for many more blanket hawk tier abominations of ideas. Fortunately, the wise person I am, I avoided crippling my recommended feed by logging out of my account, going incognito, and using a Chromebook I chucked on the ground for no reason before going on these 5 minute safaris. To my absence of shock, these videos feel like the same cancerous repetitive routine over and over and over and over again. But here. Here is some brain cell inflammation. Yep. 
That is your go-to way to get your friends to watch one freaking YouTube video. Let's disregard putting on AirPlay, using a computer, using the TV that could or could not have the YouTube app, sharing 1% at a time, sharing the video via message, Snapchat, DM, Skype, Discord, or Google Hangouts so they could view it on their own phones and the thousands of other straightforward ideas that are better than viewing a circular blur of irritation. Are you kidding me? That's it. I know. Pretty useful. Hey gamers, do you not want to get Ligma for the ground piss of the public restrooms? All you gotta do is bring a lid the size of your doormat everywhere you go and you should be alright. Attention! We have discovered that there are hardcore files of severe retardation on your computer screen. Please step away from the technological suspect immediately. Alright, that's going to be all the cringe we'll be looking at today. I gotta take a shower and wash off all that existential disgrace from watching those videos. Christ. And, uh, in fact, thanks for watching this one. It took a lot longer to make due to so much stuff that's been happening in life that's been driving me away from doing this. I'll try to get back to doing more parody style content soon after I react to YouTube Rerun. I mean, it's a good opportunity to gain relevancy through that. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Yeah.